Just in case you were interested, I threw a barbecue to celebrate 10 years of YouTube and invited a bunch of you guys, and this is how it went. It started with the baking of 150 lamingtons, which involved a lot of this. Very sexual. And forcing Rowan to test some recipes. He's happy in this one, but acted like I was forcing him to do something awful sometimes. Like testing cake isn't the best thing ever. When he agreed, I hustled down and baked and baked and baked. Last ones. Then I wrote some trivia questions and ate many lamingtons while Rowan cleaned up the trays because he's a perfectionist. And this is what our relationship looks like. Later on, which turned out to be the next day, with the car packed, we headed to Lion's Lodge in the Royal Botanic Gardens. Rowan set up the speakers, which is hilarious because electronics are his enemy and never work for him. I set up the tables and chairs the furniture people dropped off, added games like Connect Four and Guess Who stations so people could play the other version of Guess Who where you use personality traits instead of physical attributes. These boards are actually a cheaper version called Who Is It? But it was the closest thing I could get to the old Guess Who. While these little cards were really fiddly to get in, after the millionth one, I got really good at it. And then I started to think about how maybe I should do this as a career. Then the catering people came. I watched them like a weird king, but they told me they didn't want help setting up. A silhouette artist came. That's right, a silhouette artist who cuts awesome silhouettes. And then you awesome folks started to arrive. Everyone was so lovely and chilled. I couldn't get over how nice you all were. I was expecting really horrible people. No, I'm just kidding. You're all really great. There were lots of photos. People took selfies with my mum, stroked their beards. Look at my mum, she loves it. She is such a poser, she loves photos. People spoke to my dad for so long that I thought they were actually already friends. Some of my friends came too, which was lovely. And I discovered Tim was an amazing saucer. Look at that. How many barbecues do you go to, bro? My nieces, my sister and brother-in-law came. People started to dig into the barbecue and I'm really sorry, there are actually like a, a whole ton of salads on a side table that I think everyone missed. Anyway, people ate and were so nice and were like, mmm, vegan tastes great, Nat. You were all so polite that you didn't even mention that, you know, there was no meat, so thank you so much. Then it was time for trivia where I meanly forced people into groups even though I get very anxious socialising myself with strangers. Also, remember when I was working on trivia questions before? Well, I left the trivia answers at home, so everyone was very polite while I delivered trivia like this. Which of these appears first oh wait let me think about this <laughs> Anyway, so trivia was kind of like if your friend brought questions and didn't know the answers to them and had forced you to speak with other people. Luckily, I had only prepared 14 questions. That's right, not 15, 14. During trivia, I also acquired a personal assistant. And in the end, this group won. Then it was time for more mingling. And then this group made me this beautiful but very scary leaf message. So if I die, it was these guys. It was one of those things that are so neatly folded that you know you're gonna die a really weird, painful death. There were more Guess Who matches, and I just want you guys to see the face of someone who wins the other version of Guess Who. That's right, the other Guess Who is incredibly fulfilling. Look at that. There were more silhouettes, more photos, more talking, lots of hugs, and then unfortunately there were goodbyes. At home I got to unpack so many of your lovely presents that you brought, like chocolates, this statue that was unbelievable and had a very similar physique to my own. There were books, fake indoor plants so that I don't kill them, incredibly touching cards, awesome t-shirts and vegan donuts, which I ate in bed because it was an awesome day. Thanks so much to everyone who helped. Thanks for coming. You guys are the best. I hope you're all as happy as you make me.